Today I will show you how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on an unsupported hardware. This method is quite new, but perfectly works even on older devices. So let's get started. So folks, let's get into it. First of all, I want to introduce this laptop. It's a Dell 7470 laptop. This laptop officially doesn't support Windows 11. However, today I'm going to show you a new method, actually a very simple method to bypass all Windows 11 system requirements. First of all, we're going to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and I will show you quickly specs of my machine. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient and as you can see, it has Intel Core i7 CPU, 6600U power efficient CPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM, nothing special. So we're going to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and firstly, we need to download ISO. I already have one, but I will show you quickly how to do it. You just need to type Windows 11 download. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Then you need to navigate to the Microsoft official website. Link I will leave in the video description. From this place, you need to scroll down a little bit until you will see download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices. Click on select download and select Windows 11 multi-edition ISO for x64 devices. After that, click on download now. Very important moment, you need to select your language. So if you want to upgrade to Windows 11, be sure to select your previous language because during this process of upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11, we want to save all our applications, data, etc. So for example, I will select English United States, select confirm. Now click on 64-bit download and it will automatically download ISO file. As you can see, this file has 5.4 gigabytes of storage. So I will cancel this process because I already downloaded Windows ISO file on my desktop. So now we need to double click on this ISO, select open. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to extract all of these files to another folder. As you can see, I don't have WinRAR or other utility to extract these files. So I will do it manually. Simply, I will copy all of these files. Just select copy, create a new folder. For example, I will type Windows 11. Now open the folder, click on the rightmost button and select paste. It may be quite fast if you have an SSD. After extracting all the files, you need to click on the rightmost button one more time, but this time we will create a text document. So, importantly to type setup. Now double click on this file. Now you need to type next setup. Press the spacebar slash product spacebar server. One more time, setup spacebar slash product server. After that, click on save, select save as, click here and change it to all files, then click on setup. Please take a close look because it's a very important moment. You just need to type dot b a t. So literally here you need to change two options. You need to select two all files and type dot bat. Then you need to click on save. Now you can close this text document. As you can see, new file appear here. Literally, we're going to run Windows 11 and now we will be able to bypass Windows 11 system requirements. But before doing this, I will show you what will happen if you will just run a normal installation like this setup. So I will double click on it. And oops, we have an unhappy message. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. And here's why the processor isn't supported for this version of Windows. And moreover, this laptop doesn't support TPM 2.0. However, we can close this window and run this setup that we created. Double click on it, select yes. Also, you may see message Windows 11 setup product server. Now we can click on next. It's checking for the latest updates. Of course, you need to accept all terms and conditions. Click on accept. And as I said earlier, now we have an opportunity to keep file settings and all applications because we select the same version of Windows and the same 
language. So if you firstly install Windows 10 in Spanish, then you also need to select Windows 11 version in Spanish. It's obvious. And then you will have this option to keep file settings and applications. Click on next. So I will stop recording from OBS, but I will still record from my smartphone because probably laptop will restart. Also, I recommend to connect charger if you have one, because if during Windows 11 upgrading, it will shut down. Definitely, it's a bad sign. So be sure to connect your charger to a laptop if you're doing such an important thing. And here we go. Now we're ready to install Windows 11. Keep our files, settings and applications. Click on install. So now we just need to wait. Of course, this process may take some time. Be patient and take your time. So Fallout's laptop successfully restarted and now we are in Windows 11 on an unsupported laptop. Everything works without any issues. So now I will show you quickly. I will navigate to the system. And yep, we have the same processor, the same amount of RAM. And if we scroll down a little bit, you may see that this is Windows 11 Pro. Quickly about Windows 11 on and unsupported laptops. So I told in the past that if you install Windows 11 on such an unsupported laptop, you need to be ready that your machine may behave incorrectly sometimes. That is, you may have some problems with drivers, with sound, with microphone. The most common problem after upgrading on unsupported devices is compatibility of a microphone and web camera not always but sometimes that is it works properly on windows 10 but on windows 11 it doesn't work at all so in my case everything works correctly updates so we can navigate to windows updates we have a message that everything is fine but let's click on check for updates now loading process begin and complete it. The first update is already installed. It was update from Windows security platforms. So security updates work even on an unsupported laptop. Each of us have opinion. You can go back to Windows 10. So for this, you need to navigate to the settings, then click on system. Scroll down a little bit one more time until you will see recovery. Now you need to click here and you have 10 days to go back to Windows 10. If this version isn't working, try going back to Windows 10. So you can click on go back like this. Also, you need to go through some options. Click on next, no thanks, next. One more time, next. And finally, you can go back to Windows 10. However, this video was on how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. As you can see, everything works and definitely you have an option to upgrade to Windows 11 in 2025 on an unsupported laptop or PC. If this video was helpful, please like it. Also, I recommend watching this video on how to bypass Microsoft account in 2025.